Hi, I'm Alexi, and this is my YouTube channel, Five String Theory. It's called like this because I play violin with five strings, and because in physics, string theory is a theory that says that the tiniest little particles are actually one-dimensional strings, and their vibrations are creating the known-to-us universe. This video is very special for me because it's the first time I'm talking on camera, and the reason for it is the newest plugin from Native Instruments, Guitar Rig 6. Now I'm not going to switch to guitar, but I'm going to play my violin with it, because apparently electric violins and guitar rig 6 are the perfect match. About three years ago I installed my first digital audio workstation, connected the violin to my computer, and ever since the guitar rig became to be one of my best friends. It was listening to me when no one else did. It was there for me when I needed, but most importantly, it was turning the sound of my violin into outwardly beautiful or crazy experimental by a single switch of a preset. And that's why I got so excited when Native Instruments announced the release of the new upgraded 6th version of this plugin. As soon as it was available, I immediately purchased it. Uh, yeah, this video is not sponsored. I literally purchased the plugin and started to explore it on my own. And the results of this exploration I want to share with you, fellow violinists, because I strongly believe in connection between traditional musical instruments and the modern day technology. And although maybe even in 100 years the concerto of Brahms, let's say, will be played exactly like in the times of Brahms himself, the future of acoustic instruments I see in the digital augmentation of their possibilities. So, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so this is the Guitar Rig 6, and what you have just heard uh, was a single melodic line I played with my violin, and the rest was coming from the plugin. So I think now you understand the excitement. There are already quite a few walkthrough videos on YouTube which explain quite in depth about the plugin, so I will be giving just a very quick uh, overview for those who are not familiar with it. The Guitar Rig is an amp and effect modeling software which can work as standalone or as a plugin with any major digital audio workstation. If you click here on components, uh, then you find different uh, simulations or emulations of amps and effects, and you can simply drag and drop them here and make your own effect chains, which can be as complex as the processing power of your computer allows you. But if you are not very experienced with effects and don't really know what exactly are they doing, it can be a bit complicated to start with. So for that purpose, we have presets and the new guitar rig has more than a thousand of them. The presets are organized in different categories. For example, you can go here to input source and tell the guitar rig, hey, I'm playing bass or drums or guitar and it has presets exactly sort of made for this particular instrument, but this is in no way a must. Uh, like, I'm playing violin with it um, for a while already, and the police didn't come to my house yet, so I think it's quite fine. Uh, besides the input sources, you have um, yeah different types of effects, and then characters, uh, amplifiers, which is probably more relevant for guitarists and genres, the whole 11 of them, and also the artists which have created some of the presets of the Guitar Rig 6. So I have checked quite many of those presets. Uh, well, not the whole thousand of them, but yeah, really, uh, quite a bit. And uh, I picked the most interesting ones to show you. I split them into five categories. Leads, delay and special effects, uh, guitar stuff, pads and experimental. And I think we are going to start with uh, leads, uh, like with presets which are good for playing melodies, because we violinists love to play melodies. And if you play in a band, you do events, playing on DJ or whatever else. I mean, yeah, you just basically play a lot of melodies. So let's check out some melodies.
As you could hear, these were some pretty interesting sounds. Just think about how many pedals you would need to care to recreate this in an analog setting. But let's keep going. Delay and spatial effects. These are really good for melodic lines, but also great for arpeggio and pizzicato and basically any of those situations where you just uh, want to create more of an atmosphere and make this violent sound coming sort of from afar. And the guitar rig has really a lot of it to offer. So I'm just going to show you a few examples. <laughs>
you see it's not just your typical delay pedal and it has a huge variety of sounds. But okay, if we are already messing around with a plugin called Guitar Rig, we have to check out the guitar presets and try to get this smoky, overdriven sound out of such a gentle instrument like violin. <laughs> Now you can go and tell your band leader to fire the guitars and start paying you double. But honestly, I believe somewhere deep inside, every violinist has a little bit of jealousy toward rock guitarists. Because damn, they are so cool. And also because usually violinists doesn't get to know any techno producers. But okay, uh, we have another quite important topic to cover. Pads. Yes, we love them pads. They sound so good in songs and so many artists want to record a real life string section because it sounds so much more alive than just a synthesizer. And uh, if you're doing any sort of a live looping performance, I bet that at least once you're using this trick of recording multiple layers and making those like heartwarming string chords and people love it. We love to play it, people love to hear it. So why not? And exactly for these purposes, the Guitar Rig has created almost 100 pad presets, which can totally spice up your strings. I have recorded a simple harmonic progression, and now I'm going to play it for you with different presets applied. You see, it combines two very powerful elements, the feeling of a live string section and the electronic sound. And I'm definitely going to keep it in my toolbox for the situation when I'm recording strings for a song or a soundtrack. Okay, now we are getting to the last and my personally favorite part of this video in which I'm going to show you some of the crazy and experimental sounds. They might not be very useful for playing on a wedding or for performing with a singer-songwriter in a bar, well, but I personally like them so much because they're sort of widening the horizon of possible and making the performer and the listener to think outside of the box. So let's see how deep the rabbit hole goes.
As you could hear, the Guitar Rig 6 is massive, and it can seriously upgrade your game. As I mentioned before, this video is not sponsored. I'm making it simply because I want to share my positive experience with you and because I want to inspire you to explore the unexplored. If you have already tried the Guitar Rig, or maybe you know some other must-try with violin plugins, please share your experience in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, hit those like and subscribe buttons, because I'm planning to create more content about violin and technology, which you might like not to miss. Also, I want to thank my amazing friends Philip and Damien from the Neon Nursery Studio where we are shooting this video, and Anton Tal, who is standing behind the camera right now. And of course, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye!